hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video today's video is going to be a basically like a favorites haul or kind of like my current favorites new things that i've bought that i'm absolutely loving everything that i've got within the last few months maybe there's a few older bits no i feel like in the last couple of months and I've been obsessed with them. So I wanted to share everything with you. These are one of my favorite videos to film because I absolutely love talking about products. I feel like when I first started my YouTube channel, it was basically aimed around talking about products, but then it's kind of expanded into lifestyle, all different sorts of things. But one of the things I love doing is finding amazing products and just chatting about them. So hopefully I've got something in here that maybe you're looking for or maybe you'd like to try, but I will leave everything linked down in the description box below. So it's easy for you to find anything, but I have everything in this little basket. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that I recently purchased that I've been loving is this product from Revival. I did pick this up from Amazon. Actually, this is one of Ollie's finds. He researched this and found out about it and he said we have to try it. So we gave it a go and honestly, so good. Um, so yeah, this is, so I think you can just buy it directly from their website as well, but also you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, it's the Revival Rehydration and Recovery Electrolyte Drink Mix. It's got vitamins C, B1, B3, B5 and B12 in it. And supposedly it's meant to obviously give you a nice bunch of vitamins when you drink it. But also the reason we've got it is because me and Ollie both like to have a little drink every now and again, most weekends. Um, and I'm not so bad with the hangovers, but Ollie is, he suffers quite badly with hangovers. And this was actually recommended that it helps with hangovers and stuff. So it kind of rehydrates you, puts the vitamins back in your body and helps you out if you've had a few too many to drink. We really want to try it. And for me, I have tried these sorts of things before. Like I've tried the little capsule tablet things, but they just taste horrible. I'm very funny about taste and I have to really like something, otherwise I'm just not gonna bother drinking it. These taste really good. I really love the wild cherry one. I thought I'd show you that one today, mix it up and show you what it's like. But in these little kits, you do get 12 sachets and you get two wild cherries, two orange bursts, two lemon and lime, two tropical berry, two watermelons and two summer fruits. So you get a few different flavors to try. And so I thought it was quite a good way to see what our favorite flavors were. Ollie so far loves the summer fruits one. That's been his favorite. But yeah, I'm loving the wild cherry. So yeah, I will make a little drink now. And one of the things I love about this is the color. Oh my God, the color that it makes your water. I've just got a bottle of water here, my glass and a straw. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna pop it in. The colour this goes is just the most cutest colour ever. It just makes you want to drink it more. Pour the product in and then you just add your water to it. Look at the colour of this. I feel like I love the wild cherry flavour but I also love the way it looks. When I'm eating, drinking anything, it has to taste good but it also has to look good. Um, and I just feel like this does. So you just mix it up, make sure all the powder's mixed up. And you're supposed to drink it quite quickly, I think. I mean, if you look on their website, it's gonna give you a lot more details than I'm giving you. This is just something that I've been trying out. Oh, it also says, our premium single-use sticks have been designed for ultimate convenience and are based on a World Health Organization formula for hydration. Each stick delivers a refreshing burst of flavor and contains a precise blend of vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes. We are loved by athletes, travelers, and those with an active lifestyle to provide a natural boost, optimize performance, and reduce recovery time. Um, so it doesn't specifically say, you know, about drinking there, but that is just something that I think Ollie read and that made us kind of want to try it out. So, you know, I guess it doesn't want to promote drinking, but maybe that helps. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, do you know I love it? Oh, it's just so good. It's really, really good. It doesn't have any of those weird, you know, like vitamin medication-y powdery type taste. It doesn't have any of that. It honestly just tastes like a normal squash with water, but maybe just like on the weaker side of it. It's not too strong, which I quite like because I wouldn't like anything very sugary. So that is the first thing that I wanted to talk about, one of my new favorites. Okay, next up is another set of things I bought from Amazon and they are from Gillette. And it's these three products here. They do come separately, um, but I just bought the three because they were a set. You have 
have the 2-in-1 Cleanser and Shave Gel here. You have the Skin Smoothing Exfoliant and then I have the Daily Soothing Serum. I've been having a little bit of issue with uh, razor rash. My skin's always been pretty good with shaving but just recently I don't know whether my skin's changed or the razor that I was using. I've actually switched to a new razor which I'm going to show you in a minute because that's definitely helped to improve my skin. I don't know what happened but basically my underarms reacted to shaving. They were really sore. They actually had almost like little cuts in them. Not like because I've cut it shaving but just where I've shaved and then you know the natural creases in your underarm get sore with the heat. So I think it's a mixture of the hot weather we've been having, the fact that my razor just didn't like my armpits anymore, my armpits didn't like my razor anymore. And then the same with my bikini line, that's been getting a bit spotty and rashy. It's not terrible. I just feel really self-conscious if I've got a bikini on or something and it's not completely smooth down there. I just like my skin to just look very smooth. Um, so yeah, these products were quite highly rated on Amazon. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say about the Revival stuff the reviews on Amazon are really good as well so obviously you can listen to my review of it but definitely go on Amazon and read the reviews just to see what you think of it a lot of people have been loving it so yeah reviews on these were really good uh, so what we have here you have the skin smoothing exfoliant so before you get into the bath or the shower and prior to shaving you will just exfoliate the area with this product here it's a very very gentle exfoliant like very micro little bits of exfoliant so it's not irritating um, it does say on it it's for pubic hair and skin um, it's ph balanced and it's made without dyes or fragrance so, so yeah pop some of that on exfoliate the area and then when you're in the bath or shower you then use this one to shave with but the reason i love this product this is probably my favorite product of all of them uh, it's the two-in-one cleanser and shave gel for pubic hair and skin so this is amazing because you can shave with it it foams up really nicely it works really well to shave like the bikini area but the other thing i love about it is it's ph balance and it's a wash Wash. So normally when I'm washing in the shower or the bath I generally have my body wash and I do just use it all over my body and I use it down there as well which is not ideal because you probably should be using a pH balanced product down there. Um, it's much better for you so this being a shave gel and a wash at the same time is perfect because obviously it foams up you can have a little wash have a little shave and it just does it all in one go um, these are not expensive either it's really good you only need a tiny little bit of this as well just a little bit and then it foams up lovely um, it's not fragrance it's got no dyes in it like the other thing and it works really really nicely for shaving that area so yeah been loving this one and then lastly, I'm still figuring this product out. I don't know if I love it yet. I, I don't think I've used it for long enough. Um, but this is the Daily Soothing Serum. You're supposed to apply this after shaving. So you've shaved up, you've done your exfoliant, you've put your wash on, you've shaved. And this is designed to smooth over and stop those little, you know, razor rash, little spots, ingrown hairs. It's supposed to help with all of that. Um, you only need a tiny little amount. A little goes a long way, that is true, um, and then you smooth in until it's absorbed. Uh, but I would say, yeah, this is, the first time I used it, it almost felt a little bit sore. I used this under my arms and that was a no-go, but then my armpits have been struggling with life at the moment. But yeah, I put this under my arms and the armpits were like, absolutely not, get that off. So I haven't put it under there again. But I do use this on my bikini line and I feel like it is smoothing the skin around. I don't know if it's completely got rid of the little bumps yet um, and like the razor rash. I think the way that I've coped with the razor rash is with my new razor and with these two products. So I don't know. It's also very thin and liquidy so it's quite hard to use. So when you pump it into your hand it's like water and it's just very runny. And then you've got to like try and get it onto your bikini line and like massage it in. And I'm sure moisturising the area after you've shaved is the best thing to do for it anyway. But I still need to try this one out a little bit more. So I might start to, I might talk about the razor now just because obviously we're on the shaving theme. So the new razor that I've got is from Estrid. I've seen these advertised everywhere. I feel like every YouTuber that I watch has done an ad with this Estrid brand, which is quite cool because that's the way I found it. And it is such a great product. So first of all, the packaging looks like this. You can choose a different color that you want. Um, they're a really nice metal handle. 
and then they have this little rubberized bit here so it's very comfortable to hold. I was really surprised at the quality of this when it arrived because I've only paid, I feel like it was about eight pounds for your starter set and you get the razor, you get a razor head, you also get uh, another razor head here. It's come with a little travel case as well because I think that was like I had a code or something. Um, and it had a little travel case on it. If I can find any codes for this, I'll leave that link down below next to the link for it. It's really good. You just pop the razor head on and off. You can see it's a bit kind of gooey there. I did use it this morning. But the reason that I specifically love this razor compared to my previous razor, because I was using another razor subscription service. That's what this is. So I haven't explained that properly. So you buy the main body of it, you get the two razor heads and then you subscribe to it and then you get sent razor heads every month two months, three months, whenever you want to have them delivered, um, they just arrive at your door and you pay, I believe it's about £10 a month, or not £10, it's about £10 per delivery, um, which I actually think is really good, the fact that you're just getting it delivered to your door, razor heads are expensive anyway, and these ones are really nice. So the reason I prefer this one to my previous razor is because of the area around the actual razor blade. So it has five razor blades, which is great. That's really good for like, you know, getting all the hairs. But then it has this, I think it's sheer butter in this blue section around here. So as you use it, it almost leaves this kind of like, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got this kind of like gooey residue on it, which just makes it glide onto your skin so nicely. There's no drag with it, no pulling on the hairs. And I definitely think this has improved my shaving issues, especially my underarms. The minute I stopped using my other razor and let my armpits kind of sort themselves out. And also changed my deodorant up as well. All of that has really helped my underarms. But yeah, this is brilliant, love it. And it's it's so, so affordable and convenient just to have them delivered. And you can choose little cute colors and stuff like that. Um, and then also the deodorant that I've been using is the Wild deodorant. Um, I did actually buy my Wild container and one of the refills quite a long time ago. I've probably had it for about four months, but I kept forgetting that I had the wild deodorant and then when I ran out of the refill, I didn't buy a new one. I kept buying my old deodorant that I've always used, which is the Dove stick one. I do, I do still like that one, but this one's a lot more natural and I feel like it's been so much better for my underarms. You can buy the refills as well in so many places now. Like I just picked mine up in Waitrose when I was doing a food shop. So it was so easy because it was right there. I didn't have to like buy it online or anything. I could just chuck it in with my normal weekly shop, um, which I loved. So yeah, I think the refills are about three to four pounds. Um, and once you buy this, you keep this and then you just buy the refills for it. So it's obviously very eco-friendly as well, but it's just a really nice creamy deodorant. Can't remember what scent this is. I think it's like jasmine or something. It smells like soap. It smells really good. Uh, but there's loads of different scents to choose from. And they also come out with like limited edition ones. I think they have one at the moment, the Little Mermaid one, that I haven't smelt, but everyone's been raving about. So I do want to try that one if I can get my hands on it. But yeah, just as a product, it's really good, really nice with underarms. You only need a really small amount of it as well. Highly recommend. They are, I didn't, don't even know if I said the name of it, but it's called the Wild Deodorant. Okay, next up, I have this cleanser. Uh, this cleanser is basically empty now. I have used the whole bottle and I will be repurchasing it because honestly, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I would say it's brilliant for oily skin, not for dry skin, and I have very oily skin. And it is the M&S Facial Wash Bergamot and Green Tea, plant-based ingredients, created with natural essential oils, vegan, and it says it cleanses and refreshes, and it's in this really handy little bottle. You get 150 ml in here, cruelty-free, two pounds. This was two pounds, so good. It's a really nice, thick, foaming cleanser. So you pump it on your hand, it's a lovely thick texture, massage it in with a little bit of water and it just turns into this most beautiful, foamy cleanser. It removes all of my makeup, it leaves my skin feeling so clean, but not tight because I don't like the, the ones that dry your skin out too much. This definitely would, if you had dry skin, I feel like it would be slightly too stripping for you. Uh, you might want something with a little bit more moisturiser in it. But for oily skin or maybe even normal skin, I think you'll really like it if you like a foaming cleanser. And honestly, it's £2. 
it's I feel like I found something really good here and nobody knows about it. I will definitely be buying more of this, especially with how affordable it is. Okay, next up is actually a couple of products that I did get sent from the brand. Uh, they did email me and they said, would you like to try out any of our stuff? And I was like, oh, I'll have a look. I always have a look into what people are offering. And if it is something that I would genuinely buy myself and use and I'm interested in trying, then I will always try them out. But you know, I don't, I don't say yes to everything. Um, but these, oh my god, amazing. So the reason that I was kind of drawn to it is because they are, it's products designed specifically for hard water areas. And I live on the Isle of Wight and we have the hardest water ever. It's so bad. My hair never feels like it does if I go on holiday somewhere or even if I go somewhere else on the mainland, my hair never feels nice at home it's well it feels okay because i put all these products in it but it doesn't i can definitely tell the difference and also our kettle it's just constantly needs descaling we're just have a lot of hard water here but hello clean this brand is called and they have products designed specifically for hard water i picked up the hard water shampoo and conditioner to try out and it says that the detoxifying complex helps gently draw out unwanted impurities while the nutrient rich blend repairs hair elasticity roughened by hard water. Honestly, it works. My hair, after using these, I had I used them this morning so I could show you like fresh hair. It's so soft. I have styled it with the Dyson Airwrap. The hair texture just feels different. Um, even as soon as I've washed it and it's wet, I can just feel when it's wet that it, it just feels different. The products are really lovely and rich as well. So when they come out, they're lovely and thick and the shampoo foams up really nicely. The conditioner just feels so soft on the hair. The brand also does shower heads. They do a body wash, which I really want to try the body wash. It's like a, um, I think it's like a pH balancing body wash and it helps you with the hard water as well on your skin. Because obviously not only your hair gets affected by hard water, but also your skin. And yeah, the shower head looks great, although... I can't use the shower head because we have one of those, you know, like the kind of big square shower head, like the waterfall ones. So it, it just wouldn't work on that for me. I think they also have a permanent fixture though that you can put in to soften up your water. Just have a look on their website and if you have any problem with hard water, or honestly, I don't even think the hard water thing matters so much. They're just a brilliant shampoo and conditioner as well. But have a look on the website, see what you think. There's a lot more information on there and they would have explained it so much better than me. Uh, there is one other thing I wanna mention with them and it is just the bottle shape and the lid pump. I just love this so much. It's such a nice big wide pump that when you're in the shower, you just, I don't know, it's just so easy. You just put your palm of your hand on there and just like, oh and just like pump it out so quickly. The shampoo is actually this kind of like charcoal gray color. Um, it does have bamboo charcoal in it, liquid root and oat protein and lactic acid. And the conditioner has reishi mushroom, rice protein and provitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. So just like really nice ingredients in them as well. Um, after they'd sent them to me, they said, uh, try them out, see what you think. And if you're interested in getting a discount code for anybody that I tell them about, then ask them so I was like absolutely because if you guys want to try it I want to obviously get you a discount code so they did give me a code which I'll pop on the screen now for you but I'll also leave it linked in the description box below if you do want to try it out I think it gets you 15% off um, which is a great discount and if you want to try it you might as well get it a little bit cheaper also you get 350 ml in each bottle so they're nice big bottles as well okay next up is another hair product and it is this osmo wonder 10 leave-in treatment with 10 wondrous effects this is so good this is all i use in my hair now so i wash with that and then towel dry a little bit and then i just spritz this all over it and i don't use anything else in it because i really don't like any heavy feeling in my hair so i don't want too much product this is an all-in-one leave-in treatment and oh i don't have the box anymore it doesn't tell you on the packaging like what it does but it basically has 10 effects that it does which I'll put on the screen now so you can see the 10 different effects because I can't even tell you I've thrown away the actual box that it came in but also with this the smell is so good it smells amazing you know when you go to the hairdressers and they use these beautiful lovely scented products on you and you leave and it's like oh smell like the hairdresser 
this smells like that. It also has heat protectant in it as well, so I don't even have to go in with any extra heat protectant spray. It basically just does everything, like it says on the bottle. It does 10 things, so a brilliant all-in-one product. Um, okay, next is a face mask that I've been loving. This was actually recommended to me by my friend, and I kept trying to get hold of it, and every time I went into Rituals, they just never had it in stock, but finally I found it in stock, and it is this Rituals face mask. It's called the Purifying Charcoal Wonder Mask. It has, I don't know how you say this, but gazool powder and black mud. So you get the powder in here, you get this little bowl to mix it up in, and then you get the brush with it as well. So it comes as a three piece set, but it just works so beautifully for just clearing and detoxifying the skin. Um, I tend to do it probably probably about once a week actually. Um, and I thought I would just show you now how it like mixes up and what it looks like. But you get the powder in here, which looks like this, just a gray powder. And then you pop this into the bowl. Oh shoot, a bit too much, hang on. Oh, but I won't use too much, so I'm not going to use it, so I don't want to waste. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit in the bowl there, and then I'm going to just use a drop of water from the bottle that I've got left over. You only need the tiniest little bit of water in there. You can just use water from the tap, obviously, but I'm just using this because I had it on hand. I might have put too much in there, actually. might have to add more powder. So you pop the water in, and then you just mix up the powder with the water, and then it turns into... I definitely put too much water, so I'm going to have to add a bit more powder in there. Um, it turns into this kind of like foamy, moussey texture as you mix it. And you can kind of hear it like fizzing. Can you hear that? So then once you've mixed it up, you just apply it onto your skin. It goes on your face so evenly and it feels lovely. It's almost like a little bit cooling. And then you just leave it on until it turns completely like light gray. So it's kind of this dark gray color now. And then it turns light gray. And that's when you know it's dry and then you can wash it all off. It normally takes about, I'd, I'd say even about 20 minutes. What does it say on here? Yeah, 20 minutes. So mix one tablespoon of powder together with several drops of water. Blend until it transforms into a soft mousse. Using the brush, apply the mask to the face, neck and decoll decolletage and leave for 20 minutes and then rinse with lukewarm water. Yeah, highly recommend it. Um, and it clears your skin, it makes your skin feel so clean, it helps with any breakouts and the overall smoothness of your skin feels lovely as well. So I'd say it's suitable for like any skin type because it's not too drying, even though it is a charcoal formula. And then I'm going to talk about some sunscreen products. So I'll start off with my facial sunscreen. Uh, the one that I've been loving is this one by Supergoop. It is the Supergoop Glow Screen SPF 30. I do have the little mini one here because it's quite expensive and I wasn't sure if I was going to love it so I wanted to try out the little mini. I have almost used all of this up now and it is lovely. Really, really nice. Um, I've used it over the last couple of weeks where we had the really hot weather and my face has not burnt once. It's so good. And also the way it leaves your skin looking when you have this alone or even underneath foundation, like today I'm wearing it under foundation and it just gives your skin this really nice sort of like glow from within look but you could definitely wear this without foundation. It improves the look of my skin because it has like a pearlescent formula to it. So when you put it on, you look super glowy, but your skin also looks really pretty as well. And it's nice if you're just gonna go makeup free, but you do wanna be protected. You feel like you've got a little bit of something on your skin. So it kind of looks a little bit like it's got color to it, but that is mainly just the pearlescent stuff. Although I would say that it does kind of color correct a little bit on the skin but it blends in really nice. It has a very, very soft fragrance to it, hardly fragranced at all. Blends in instantly and then just leaves you with this really lovely glow on your skin. It's probably not showing up that well on my hand, but on your face, it shows up really nice, love it. And then last up, I have this Ultra Sun Professional Protection SPF 20 Glimmer Shimmering Sun Protection Sensitive Skin with Antioxidants, Water Resistant, sun lotion. So this has a lot of claims to it. I did show this in a video probably a few months back now because I picked it up from TK Maxx as you can see the little TK Maxx label here. So this product is normally £40 and I got it for £20 in TK Maxx so I wanted to try it out but when I was looking at it after I'd bought it because it says it's glimmer I thought it was going to be like nice and you know really shimmery on the skin but when I put it on I didn't really notice it and I kind of threw it to the side because it wasn't as 
glittery as I wanted it to be. But then this hot weather came, I didn't have any sunscreen, and I thought, I'm gonna try out that new stuff that I bought and just hopefully it can protect me, if anything. So yeah, I popped it on, and it's only a 20, but uh, this has protected me really, really well, actually. Uh, it says it's a medium protection, and I didn't get burned at all. There was one video that I did a week or so ago that I was burned, but that's because I sat in the garden and didn't put my SPF on, and I got caught out. Um, but ever since then, I've been covering myself in it, and it's brilliant. And the nicest thing about it is that it has a beautiful shimmer to it. It was just that I couldn't see it because I wasn't in the sunlight. But I cover my body in this now, and every time I've worn this and I've been out with people, they're just like, oh my god, what is on your skin? And I'm like, well, it's just my SPF. But it just gives you the most beautiful glowy skin. It has these tiny, tiny little flecks of gold glimmer in it. So when you're out in the sunlight and the sunlight's on your skin, your skin just looks so beautiful and like golden and glowy and shimmery. And yeah, if you like that sort of thing, you will like it. Obviously, if you don't want to be glittery you won't like it i'm gonna pop a little bit on now and see if like you could see it on the camera but i don't know if you can it's definitely better when you're in kind of direct sunlight that's when the color of it really pops oh but the texture is lovely soaks in really nicely it absorbs so fast um it lasts me for ages it does say it's water resistant i haven't tested it in the water yet so i don't know about that it definitely works really nicely on my skin it also makes me feel nice and moisturized as well um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop a little bit on here. Probably would have helped if I'd shaved my arms or something. I feel like you definitely can't see in this lighting. It just looks... It just doesn't really look like anything in this lighting. It's definitely got to be in sunlight. That's when it looks its most beautiful. If I can get a little clip of me wearing it in the sun, I'll add that on now so you can just see how beautiful it looks. But um, apart from that, the feeling of it on your skin is lovely. It works really nicely. It left me feeling very protected. It's not sticky, absorbs really well. Obviously, if you're buying it not from TK Maxx and you're getting it full price, it is 40 pounds, which is a lot of money. But this is the 250 mil. I believe you can get a smaller one. Obviously, it's gonna cost you a bit less, maybe if you wanna try it out. And then the final product that I wanted to talk about is one that I'm wearing, and it is this really, really cute necklace from a company called Wonderlust & Co. I found them in John Lewis, and then ever since then I've been absolutely obsessed and I'm gonna buy more from their collection because the stuff is really beautiful. So this is the necklace that I picked up and it is, I think it's called the La Luna necklace. So it has these gorgeous little moon and stars on it. Um, it's really pretty. I love the color gold that it is. I think the products are like gold plated or something. They're not real gold, but the quality feels so good. I cannot get over the quality of these necklaces. Like the actual pendant is so heavy. Um, I wear it basically every day, you've probably seen it in my other videos, I wear it all the time because I just, I love the style of it. And it hasn't tarnished at all. Like it just feels as good as new. It's just very detailed as well. Like even on the chain, it has these like little tiny diamond things as well. It's just a really cool necklace. And just the rest of the stuff they have on their website is just also very beautiful. So I've been obsessed with it. All of their stuff is, it's just very nice. They have also birthstone things and stuff like that. So yeah, highly recommend this necklace and yeah, you'll probably see it in a lot more videos to come. And that is it guys. I have talked 100 mile an hour again. Sometimes I talk so fast because I never want the videos to be too long because I think that you guys will be like, okay, can't listen to her for that long. So I try and like talk quick and get as much information in the video as possible so I don't bore you. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said earlier, I'll leave everything linked in the description box below, along with any discount codes I can find for any products so that you can get everything the most affordable price possible. Um, but yeah, if you use any of these products yourself, please leave me a comment down below letting me know. Or if you have any current favourites that you highly recommend, then please leave those in the comments as well. But I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!